Hello friends, this is lesson 12 of NLP Natural Language Processing. In today's lesson, we'll talk about how to build a model or model construction and what are the steps. Talk about these topics. So first of all, how to load the data. I mean raw text, text normalization, text vectorization and it's also called as a feature extraction then training and testing the model and calculating classification metrics. Now let's start with the first topic loading raw text. So this is the first step to load the data and raw text you know that unprocessed data and that is not suitable to like uh, do some pre processing and make it ready for the computation and modeling and that is called raw text or raw data. Uh, in this case, we'll be using Pandas library for reading the data, right? How to import that? This is the way how to import it. Import Pandas as any name you can give here. And then uh, I will be using Pandas or PD dot read this function, read table. And here I will specify the path and file name and the data. And then we'll apply text normalization the text normalization is okay it is the first step to transform the raw text into a form which is ready for computation and modeling right because the raw text is unprocessed data and it is not suitable and ready for computation and modeling so what we do will normalize the text and that is called pre-processing and these are the steps friends for example ignoring the distinction between uppercase and lowercase in the in text we have uppercase and lowercase what will happen will the distinction if it is not ignored you know that uppercase letters are different from lowercase uh, and that creates problem another one is stripping the punctuations punctuations means like period things this will remove and then uh, words chunking will apply chunking tokenization splitting into tokens steaming in uh, or uh, limitization one of them will be applying and then vectorization right or feature extraction for text vectorization we'll be using here i will be using tfidf vectorizer will create the object for this and you know that uh, it is taken from term frequency and then we have inverse document frequency, right? Turn frequency means what? Frequency of, mm, sorry, frequency of each and every word in the document, right? And then we have document frequency, the total number of times appears in whole number of collections or documents. How many documents are there? This we discussed in previous lectures. You can refer that also. Then we have to calculate the inverse document frequency and that will be calculated using this. Uh, and the log of this will be taken and that is called the inverse document frequency. So actually we are using this for text vectorization or feature extraction. I mean this one. Now then what will happen the the third step sorry the fourth step is training and testing the model and you know that in this step you should split the data into two partitions you can use cross validation also but here we'll be using test and training the data with different partitions we'll create only two partitions train partition and test partition with this we'll be test uh, training the model and then we'll this test partition and then we have the metrics we have to calculate for classification models it means we have to focus on accuracy of the model as we discussed in previous lectures in classifications we'll be focusing more on accuracy or performance of this accurately classifying the data into response values and now that's called model accuracy and then uh, further if you want to describe the model performance you can use confusion because there will be considering the types of errors different types of errors we have type 1 and type 2 and then we have like uh, specificity and uh, k sorry f value 
or uh, we have recall precision this all these things you can calculate manually and then we'll talk uh, about classification report and that classification report is actually friends overall classification result if you want to see then you can uh, see or print the classification report now let's see all these things practically here yeah model construction for spam or ham we'll consider this text and see whether the email is spam or ham uh, for case study here and this figure is taken from the book i mean this book friend apply text in analysis with python and these are the steps this is the pipe uh, this is called the pipeline right we will be loading the data text normalization text vectorization feature extraction or transformation and then we will be using an estimator here or model or algorithm for classifying the data uh, so we will be using scikit-learn uh, library uh, here the model sorry the machine learning process often combines a series of transformers on raw data such as loading here I said uh, text normalization text vectorization and text transformation now let's see here friends this is the first step loading the raw data and for that we'll be using pandas library I will execute this part yeah and then uh, we'll load the data this is my data and you see here we have uh, two columns this is label and message and these are called the features and this is called the response value and then we will go for text normalization ignoring like this distinction between uppercase and lowercase scraping punctuation words chunking tokenization steaming and for that first of all we have to know what are the stop words and then we will be using NLTK natural language toolkit and string libraries I will execute this part these libraries I need so let's see what are the punctuations these are called the punctuations if we have these things we'll ignore them because whether the email is spam or ham these these things are there right if it is spam we'll have these symbols in it if it is ham also we'll have these things so we will ignore them because this is not much helping us and then we'll see the okay words and here we will consider the stop words and these are the stop words friends we will ignore them as well because they are not also helping us because if the email is spam or ham we will have these things in it like my is there whether the email is spam or ham must is there must not is there these things are called stop words so we will not consider these things also we will remove them just I print it here to show you friends and this is my function normalization functions First, I'm creating stop uh, a list of that, and then uh, sorry, a tuple for that, and then here I just instantiate my limitizer, and then the text or the message which comes, they all will be converted into low tokenized. And here you will see if the word is not in stop words. I showed you what are the stop words. And at the same case, if the word is not in punctuation, then you limitize that one by one. It will come here and it will be limitized. You know that what, what do you mean by limitization? Limitization means converting into the roots, right? And then you return the result. So all the process is here in this normalized function. These steps, friends. Uppercase and lower or ignored punctuations are ignored uh, stop words are removed and then the words are tokenized and it is limitized also right and all those things will be done by this normalized function if I'm calling this now what will happen I will remove the null values also from the data and then I am applying here normalization this is my normalized function right this function I'm calling and uh, Applied on message. Let's see the result here. Oh, sorry, I have to execute the sport first. And the sports because I have called here the function. Yeah. 
yeah you see the result here let's see the result yeah they're all converted into lowercase right uh, punctuations are not there stop words are not there right those things are not there as we see here you see it was in uppercase like the first letter right they're all converted into see here we had uppercase here we had uppercase they're all converted into lowercase right punctuations are not there stop words are not there so the text is normalized we apply the function on this part right message now the second step is vectorization or feature extraction and here i will split the data into training and testing partitions i'm using this one i instantiate a vectorizer here and then transform them into a document or matrix and then we are using this model right multinomial naive base model and training the model here and then we'll see the prediction of the model and here we'll do the prediction and see whether the model is predicting correctly or not right and now let's see I created a function here I will pass a message and the message will be given to the model and the model will return the result the prediction whether it is spam or ham these are the two messages I'm passing from my model so the first message is this one let's see whether this is a spam or a ham and this is the second message hello friends let me execute this part and see the result You see, the first email is nothing but spam. The second one, right? It means this one is correct one, and this one is called as spam. So the model is classifying well, and it is uh, trained and tested well, right? These steps you have to know how to normalize and how to like uh, train the model and how to test the model now let's see the matrix what do we have so since it is a classification model and classification will be focusing on model accuracy and for that let me print the accuracy of my model predicted values and these are the tested values let's see yeah the accuracy of model is 98 percent so we are happy because the model is classifying well and accuracy of the model is also high and here we tested the model and it is doing well and now let's see for further descriptions what we'll use we'll be using confusion matrix confusion matrix we can import from here scikit-learn matrix and there we have something called okay confusion matrix this model you have to import right and then you say matrix dot confusion in here i'm using y test and predicted values let's see the confusion matrix yeah through negative through positive and then we have false negative false positive this is a matrix right again friends if you want to know about confusion matrix more you can refer my data science lectures also on youtube there i have described what we through positive through negative what do you mean by all those things so these are the predictions what the model is doing these are the through negative and these are the through positive and here we have false positive false negative at the same time if you want to get these individual values what you have to do you have to convert here the matrix into one dimensional and the values will be assigned to these four variables through negative false positive false negative through positive and manually you can calculate the accuracy of the model misclassification error specific specificity all these things like this is called accuracy through positive plus through negative divided by all those four values if you want to know the misclassification or it is also called error you have to divide this one false positive false negative by all those four values 
you see even still we are getting the same value 98 percent and this is misclassification how much it is two percent right uh, or it is called error misclassification sensitivity or it is also called recall and that is how much 83 percent and specificity of the model is 100 percent right uh, now it is also called precision friends also now let's see here classification report i will print it the same we are using matrix and then i am calling this function classification report and y test and then we have predicted values it it will provide all these things for us friends here is the precision right specificity of the model and then we have recall and that recall is I told you here sensitivity of the model and then we have the F score F score is nothing but the average of these two values here we have two labels ham and spam what is the accuracy precision for ham 97 percent what is recall value for that it is 100 percent what is F score 98 percent how many features are considered 968 features are considered if you consider the second label that is spam 100 percent precision we have recall is 93 percent and if score the average of these two all is equal to 91 the number of features 147 right and total accuracy of the model is 98 percent in total features or these are the total features 1115 and this is the average the average of these two values and this is the average of these two values and this one is the average of these two values right and then we have weighted average also and weighted average is equal to 98 percent 98 percent 98 percent in total number of this one so this weighted average is nothing but what you have to do this multiplied with number of features here right plus this one multiplied with this one and total will be divided on these number of features you will get this part right this all these things i have discussed in my data science lectures friends i told you for further reading and understanding you can do for my data science lectures also so i developed a model we constructed a model, we trained the model, we tested the model and we applied all this how to load, how to normalize the text and how to vectorize, how to extract the features and how to train and test the model and lastly what we did, we talked about the classification matrix and there we calculated the accuracy of the model, confusion matrix and classification report we printed. So I hope you understood all these things and these were the topics we promised. Thanks, friends.